Coach, I want to start with coming off a great emotional win. You've done that a few times this year. How do you turn the page in a really quick week to get back to a new game, especially this week in South Carolina? Well, I think you do it the same way. You turn the page from a, a tough loss, and you just focus on being relentless, attacking adversity and prosperity the same way. Learn the lessons you need to leave the event and keep moving forward. Um, and I think that's the, the approach that I've taken, and, and it's the approach our staff's taken, and our, I know our kids will mirror what they see us do. There's a lot of lessons that we can learn from that uh, game, but you got to leave the game where it is and keep moving forward. Defense winning you that game at the very end of the game, the scoop and score. What have you seen from this defense as of recently as they've been able to step up for this team? Well, I think they have a, a really good understanding of what Coach uh, Batoon's asking them to do. They play really well as a unit in the front six and stopping the run. They make teams one-dimensional, and I think anytime you can make an opponent one-dimensional, it gives you an advantage. You talked post-game about keeps us in the playoff hunt. Yeah. Why do you believe this team's a playoff team? I don't know if we are yet, but uh, we, we got a lot of football left and nothing's been eliminated from the table. Um, and my point of saying that was just that, like um, in college football, you know, after every game doesn't mean something's finished. Like let us play the season. Let's see where we're at at the end of the season instead of trying to make a, a quick rush to judgment after each play or each quarter or each game. You mentioned last week when we did when we did this talk that Mizzou being in the top 25 gets a lot of eyes nationally on Mizzou. Do you believe this team gets the recognition nationally that it deserves? Um, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of focused in on on what we're trying to accomplish. Obviously, we started the season uh, ranked nationally, and we're still ranked and, and have been ranked through pretty much throughout the season. So, I think the the national narrative is that we're a good football team and a really uh, surging program right now and, and that's where we want it to be and we got to fight really hard these next three weeks to keep it there. You guys have been playing good ball lately. South Carolina has been playing some pretty good ball lately. Yeah. What do you see in this Gamecocks team so far? Yeah really really good on in all three phases. Offensively they're playing really well with the pieces that they have. A really good running quarterback, a really good running back, a really talented tight end. Um, on defense they, they have a great D-line, great secondary uh, NFL scout considers them to have the most or as much NFL talent as any other team in the SEC. So they're very good. Uh, they play complimentary football and we're on the road, so it'll be a challenge. Is there a little extra pride as far as the Mayor's Cup or uh, making sure this Columbia might be the best Columbia in the SEC? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a trophy week, so anytime there's a trophy involved, there's a little bit more uh, energy towards that. What makes this Columbia? I'm not going to ask you to maybe say bad things about the other Columbia, but what makes this Columbia so good? The University of Missouri. Anything else in town? There's a I lot mean, of you live here. Things. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of different things about our city that's unique and fun, but uh, I personally take a lot of pride in the University of Missouri. All right, Coach Eli Drinkwitz joining us here. Good luck this weekend. M-I-Z.